Afternoon, everyone, and welcome to the Insights and Innovation Series for this Tuesday. Uh, I hope everyone had a wonderful Easter and uh, consumed their weight in chocolate. Today, we have one of our amazing new partners uh, and great human beings on the earth. Uh, we've got Reddit and Alana Selden, and also Ali is going to be talking to us today about uh, and introducing a bit of Reddit because probably like me, not many people know too much about it, but it's one of the biggest websites uh, we have in Australia. Um, 15 million addressable uh, uh, users per month, which makes it one of the biggest, and uh, a unique offering that kind of identifies trends, uh, connects with community, which I'll talk about, and they'll talk about what they're in doing in it from an innovation point of view and what the future of Reddit looks like and where it's going to take us and what we're all going to be leaning into in the years to come. But without further ado, I'll hand over to Alana and shut my big mouth. Over to you. Thanks, Sam. You uh, did a perfect introduction. I, you actually stole my first slide, so I'm going to kick straight in. <laughs> um, so thanks for having us today as well. I really, uh, we appreciate the time and um, we know after an Easter weekend that um, people are just getting their engines started. So we do really appreciate you being here today. All right, I'm going to kick off uh, and talk to you about what is Reddit. So our mission at Reddit is to bring community, belonging and empowerment to everyone in the world. Reddit is the number one platform for community and we'll be sharing more about what that means shortly. But first I thought we would share a quick video which really showcases the magic of Reddit, the power of community and brings to life uh, what we call the front page of the internet. What makes Reddit, Reddit? Sure, we've got memes. They started here after all. But to the millions who find community here each day, there's so much more to discover. With over 100,000 active communities, Reddit is where your audience goes to talk about everything from bicep curls to curly hair care, to get fashion advice so you can work it, or travel tips so you can work from anywhere. Reddit is where people go to get trusted answers to questions like, what car should I buy? Or, what plants do well in directly indirect light? And it's where they share how things went and what they learned. That's because Reddit is where your audience finds their community. I love you. Sharing topics and conversations that align with your brand. And it's where your brand can find your people a leaned-in audience ready to get into whatever your brand is up to. So, what makes Reddit, Reddit? Come find out. Reddit. Find your people where they find community. So, what's the difference between Reddit and other social platforms I hear you all saying behind your screens there? Well, really simply, it comes down to what we like to call me versus we. The majority of Redditors don't know each other in real life um, and there's no blue tick. We don't come together based on a demographic. We're instead brought together by our interests, passions, problems and our perspectives. What this creates is a platform that's full of discussion rather than likes and emojis. Um, after this prezzo, I'd ask you to open up the app and take a look at the communities that might interest you. I guarantee that within 60 seconds, you won't be using your, uh, your thumb to scroll, um, but instead you'll actually find something worth absorbing and reading and hopefully you'll learn something. So Reddit is the number one platform for community, but what does that community mean on Reddit? It, we break it down into four kind of uh, uh, quadrants. Membership, which everyone is a member of the communities that they really choose to be part of on Reddit. It's also influence, but on Reddit that means meaningful conversations based on data and empathy um, rather than having social influences across the platform. It's based on shared emotional experience, which means people come to Reddit to experience things together um, and also to share with one another and also a need for fulfillment. So Redditors are fulfilled by their interactions across the platform, which we see ultimately leading to positive mental health. But let me bring this to life 
um, with a local subreddit to really explain what I mean. So um, Oz Finance is um, experiencing huge growth across Australia. And this isn't surprising given people are navigating really uncertain times when it comes to money right now. But we know people come to Oz Finance to share because they trust Redditors' opinions and their perspectives. Here's a thread on the left-hand side from about a week ago where a 27-year-old shared his salary details, the, his history with gambling, and also a little bit about his personal life. And this is a real testament to people on Reddit because where would you share publicly your salary details? I mean, most of us probably wouldn't share that with our closest family or friends. But I guess what's really nice to see is on the right-hand side, you can take a look here at the comments that were underneath this post and see the kindness and knowledgeable advice that people are sharing with this person. And I guess this is the thing that really makes Reddit unique. So let's zoom out a little bit for a second here. We have over 100,000 communities across Reddit from Oz Makeup to Get Motivated to Slow Cooking, which is one of my personal favourites and something that I definitely use this weekend. Um, we have 500 million plus monthly visitors that flock to these weird and wonderful subreddits. But it's also worth noting that um, our homepage won't be filled with suggested posts. So we allow Redditors to really dictate what they see, um, which is probably part of the reason why Australians spend on average 30 plus minutes on the platform every single day. But let me talk to you a little bit about Reddit here in Australia. Um, we've been on the ground here locally, uh, based in Sydney for 18 months now. Our team has grown to just over 20 people, which we're super proud of. Um, and they're all ready and willing and here to support all of you. But locally, our audience is just as impressive. So um, in Australia, we have 15 million monthly ads addressable visitors, which Sam mentioned before, and we're made up of 62% males and 38% females. Although we continue to spend um, our local marketing and community efforts on growing out more Australian subreddits, uh, more female subreddits, uh, and in general, growing out subreddits that are more relevant to the local community. We're also mobile first, um, which probably isn't too surprising for most of you. And as, uh, Redditors here locally have a medium uh, income of 87K. But what's really exciting um, and probably my most favourite slide in this whole deck is the unduplicated reach that you can um, that you can see across Reddit. So um, the way to read this slide is that 23% um, of people that aren't on Reddit, sorry, it's 23% of people that aren't on, that are on Reddit, aren't on Instagram and 29% uh, aren't on YouTube. So people that aren't on Reddit can't be found anywhere else. Um, and these people are actually reading, they're researching, and they're contributing to these uh, amazing communities that they find themselves to be part of. Now, we know that indie agencies are always looking for an opportunity to innovate and test um, and bring exceptional cutting edge opportunities to uh, the brands that they work with. Um, and Reddit is really a place uh, where you'll find an informed and ready to take action audience. I'm going to pass over to my colleague, Alia Doctor now who's going to take you through the next few slides of this presentation and then we'll see you at the end for a couple of questions. Hi everyone, I'm Amia. Um, as Alana maybe mentioned at the beginning of this call, I am an account lead on the Scaled team here in Australia. I've been with Reddit for just over a year, but my journey with Reddit started well before, 12 months ago. I'm going to start by talking a little bit about the trends and communities that happen on Reddit. Prior to joining, I worked at Brownwatch, which is a social listening insights company, and I can give you so many examples of the trends that maybe capitalized on other platforms, but really started on Reddit. Because Redditors like to be ahead of the curve in the know, first to the party, 
they really are able to identify things that are going to take off and that maybe then take off somewhere else. And where they have all of that conversation is in our communities. Now, it can't be a right presentation, in my opinion, without bringing in a me. This is from someone that is that is lamenting or maybe celebrating the fact that right, it has ruined their ability to make an independent purchase decision, even for something like a water bottle. Now, really, what I take away from this meme every single time is one that there really is something for everyone. I can confirm, in fact, that there is a water bottle subreddit and can also confirm that within that subreddit, people really are discussing all of the attributes of what makes a good water bottle, what people's different budgetary preferences are for a water bottle, and also what purchase decision they should make. And once they've made that decision, they also truly do come back and talk about what they bought and why and what they would do the next time. And that extends across many verticals and for things well beyond the water bottle. So in Australia specifically, 67% of Aussie Redditors say that they are the first of their friends and family to buy a new tech gadget. 50% say they're more likely than their friends with a family to provide automobile recommendations. I'm going to show you a great example from one of my colleagues, Mark, uh, that speaks to this in a couple of slides. 80% of Aussie Redditors say they're the first of their friends and family to watch new TV shows, movies, and listen to new artists. And then 68% say that they call themselves early tech adopters. And that's even, as, that's even in this landscape where the kind of barriers to accessing new tech become lower and lower, and the rate of adoption becomes quicker and quicker. Alana already mentioned that Reddit is the number one platform when it comes to community. But in Australia specifically, Reddit is also the most trusted platform for brand and for product opinions. And that's because of the authenticity, the detail, the variety of information that is really just the infrastructure of our platform and something that's existed for 18 years at this point in time. Now, I wanted to jump in and just show you a variety of the weird and the wonderful and also the unaddressable on Reddit. As someone that moved to Australia, you might be able to hear this from my accent relatively recently, I am a frequent visitor to What's This Bug, which has almost a million members, as I've become friends with many creepy coolies that have found themselves in my kitchen. But then we also have communities like Australian Makeup, r slash Australia, Baby Bumps, in Australian makeup, people really compare local and global brands, local and global ingredients, different retail experiences. What do they like about shopping at one store versus another? And then also, as of last week, the acceptable size of a free sample. Our South Australia has been really a blueprint for what is top of mind for Australians for years now. During COVID, it's where Australians flock to to really understand lockdown restrictions that were evolving on a daily basis, where to find a doctor's appointment when we all couldn't leave our homes, and then as of last week, where to get the best pop cross buttons. And then our slash baby dogs, I think, is really a testament to just the diversity of people that find really meaningful homes on Reddit on a daily basis. We have a colleague that's newly pregnant and discovered on r slash baby bumps that there is a thread where people that have become pregnant within the same month can connect with each other and actually chart and experience nine months of pregnancy alongside each other. So when it comes to mental health for people that are navigating pregnancy for the first time, they, not, they may not be able to access resources that others can. They really have a way to just feel that connection and togetherness in a way that's unique. And all of these communities are there for brands to access, of course, from an advertising standpoint, but also coming from an insights background, they're really just amazing places to read and learn more about the brand attributes, the product attributes, the competitive landscape, and really then go to your advertisers and your brands with really informed recommendations from people that are ahead of the curve. Now, let's look at what some of these conversations look like in real life, because I think this really is the magic of Reddit. Um, so when we look at r slash Oz Finance, a very different type of conversation. Someone is, has mentioned that they've just moved to Australia and they're not sure what bank to use. For any of you that have lived overseas, I can confirm it is actually very difficult to open a bank account when you just landed somewhere new. 
And there's a really detailed discussion. In this case, someone is calling out Outbound, which is actually powered by a customer. And they've described it as being a modern technology-driven bank that does everything you've ever wanted. Again, that's the kind of enthusiasm and passion that we see on Reddit on a day-to-day -day basis. And when you should scroll through that thread, you would also see countless other mentions of other banks, other financial institutions, and people really comparing their qualities and their identifiers in a way that's very important. Then when we jump to our South Australian makeup, this is an equally forensic discussion about makeup removers. What are the different qualities of a makeup remover that people like? What are the brands that people think of when they think of makeup remover? And then finally, this is actually a screenshot from my colleague Mark's Reddit account. Mark has been on the lookout for a, year, for a year, the entire time that I have been at Reddit, and ultimately made his purchase decision based on a conversation he had with a Redditor that he's never met in real life, that he doesn't know, because they had a really, really informed chat about how both of them are at similar stages in their lives, they live in similar neighborhoods, they have kids of the same age, and they both really have the same needs and wants from you. He is now the proud new owner of a car. <laughs> Now, all everything that I've alluded to really falls into the type of targeting that is bread and butter to Reddit, and that's interest targeting. So we have 15 different parent interest groups on Reddit. If you are looking to reach people that are massively into gaming, style and fashion, or travel, you really do have the opportunity to tap into people that are interested in anything and everything. And from a testing opportunity, I think one of the things we see work really well for brands is really when they look beyond the realms of what's expected. Because oftentimes, they're really surprised to find that even if they're in one vertical, their target audience and where they see the best success and the most insight might be from animals and pets. You really do never know. For those of you that haven't jumped into Reddit Arts Manager yet, it has all of the kind of features and buttons that you know and love and are likely very accustomed to. But what's really exciting is what's coming up next for Reddit. We've already alluded to this and kind of shown it somewhat, but really what makes Reddit special and what brings it to life is the power of the conversations that happen on a daily basis. As a company, within the near future, we are looking constantly at new ways for brands to be able to really harness the power of that conversation. Now, I can't really share much more, but what I will say is that whether or not people are mentioning your brand, your product, your competitors, or maybe just your industry or vertical, we are, we are coming up with a few different ways that you'll be able to actually use all of that authenticity. I've already alluded to behavioral targeting, interest-based targeting, but soon we'll also have the opportunity to, um, to, to leverage contextual targeting or keyword targeting. So brands soon will be able to upload 200 branded or unbranded keywords and make sure that your ads are really present in as relevant a place as possible. Now, what I find really exciting about this, but also very clever, is that we are increasingly just looking at ways to work within this cookie-less future that we all know that we are headed into. For anyone in the room that is a creative aficionado like I am, we are also looking at new ways for brands to be able to conduct more creative testing on our platform and really gain insights that they can take into other places. Oftentimes, because relatives are just quite early to the party, we see brands kind of trial things that are new, experimental, adventurous, on Reddit first and really use that insights, use our platform as a testnet to then be informed elsewhere. And we're looking at just really ways to systematize and enhance that. And then finally, this is gonna be no surprise to everyone on this call, but video is here to stay. Reddit until now has been a primarily text-based platform, which I still think is one of its best attributes and something that makes it so unique but we also really are building out our video experience and offering in really meaningful and exciting ways. And that is coming up very soon. I've seen a quick glimpse of what's to come. We will of course continue to be a platform where you can read, research in depth, but you will also now be able to supplement all of that with really immersive videos. I want to jump into a couple of local case studies from brands just to really bring all of that to that. This is a case study from Melbourne-based Neobank Earth that is owned by Bendigo. 
as I mentioned, Up has been a Reddit advertiser for a long time now. They've tried so much and innovated so much on our platform and consequently we've just seen success after success. Um, I want to call a little bit of attention to this quote on the left-hand side. Seb, who is a growth marketer, has said that Reddit is the original front page of the internet. At a macro level, we knew it had the national scale. At a micro level, there were already some meaty, honest conversations. It makes sense to build further on the existing organic activity. And that really is kind of, I think it says it all. We know for a fact that from a water bottle to a car, people are likely talking about something that's relevant to your brand already. So I think the kind of question is like, why not? Even if it is just a matter of really scrolling through a number of subreddits and seeing the conversations that people are having. And what we can see from this example is really tangible success for us. So up saw 14% better dwell time on their site from users that came from Reddit than from other platforms. And that's simply because we know that people love to read and get into the nitty gritty. Very different case study from Australian comparison site Finder. They saw amazing success kind of full funnel. And that quote from Kiki really says it really. The performance on Reddit speaks for itself and key place for us to connect with members of our new app. Uh, hi, Angela. So it's 15, uh, 15 million monthly active ads addressable users in Australia, just to answer your question. Um, jumping back in, Reddit was able to drive full funnel activity, awareness, consideration, and action. And really, that just speaks to the fact that people come to Reddit sometimes to find out you don't know what you don't know, and they come to Reddit to find that. Once they've kind of discovered or they know a little bit about what they're looking for, they will then do research, comparative research, competitive analysis. And then finally, all of that and the kind of authenticity of the interactions already just results in action. And we can really see that from the metrics on the right-hand side. All of this is to say that we know that Reddit is impactful. When it comes to intent, we know that Reddit ads viewers are 27% more likely to purchase a product that they've seen advertised. We know that Redditors um, spend 2.5 times more after seeing a Reddit ad. We'll, we'll come back to the questions at the end. We, we're not that far from the end of the presentation. Um, we also know that Redditors are 46% more likely to trust brands that advertise on Reddit. Now, all of these things are incredibly special, but I think really what sets Reddit aside is advocacy and the amount that people will come back to Reddit after having purchased something to talk about it online and talk about it positively. So Reddit ads viewers are 56% more likely to then come back onto our platform and really talk about their experience. Now, I wanted to showcase what that looks like in a couple of different contexts. Whether or not you're interested in sneakers and really worried about your orthotic health, we can see a mention here of someone talking about having foot problems, their podiatrist, their podiatrist insulting me, suggesting they get a pair of shoes and then not having any foot hip or back problems since. There's another mention about accounting software and incredibly detailed explanation and praise for what their favorite accounting software is. And that extends all the way through to mattresses and luggage. So what's next? Um, I talked about the fact that um, we see a indie agencies always looking to innovate for their clients every time we're talking to a new in, uh, indie. Um, we're always getting so many great questions and really trying to challenge the status quo. So off the back of this presentation, we would love to help facilitate that across Reddit. Um, so for anyone that gets in touch with us uh, off the back of this presentation today, we're going to offer 10% in added value for any new brief that comes our way. Um, so we'll hold, you can hold us to that. You can see our email addresses he, uh, here on the screen. So please uh, feel free to get in touch. And then I mentioned before that um, it would be great if off the back of this presentation, you could jump in and take a look at the plethora of communities um, that exist within Reddit. Um, so here's a quick uh, QR code to get yourself through to the homepage. Um, but we really tried to demonstrate what these communities look like and tried to bring them to life for you. Um, but the best way to do that is for, for you really to jump in and take a look at the types of communities that we have. And then from there, 
if everyone's scanned. Um, we're happy to answer any questions 